Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Super Mario Bros. 3. After completing World 7 in the last episode, we learned that Princess Toadstool was kidnapped by Bowser and brought here to World 8, which is the final world in the game. So it seems that we have no choice. Let's just get ourselves geared up and just jump right into it, because in this episode, and maybe in the next episode, we're going to be saving Princess Toadstool from the clutches of the King of the Single Koopa, as described in the in the title of his name. So I did say that it could be two episodes because this world is very long and the reason for that is because there are a ton of auto scrollers. Most of the levels in this world are going to be filled with auto scrollers which is uh, not the greatest thing in the world. I wish that wasn't the case but we're just gonna have to deal with it because we're just gonna have to go at the pace that the game allows us to go on to which is gonna be fun. And by that I mean it's not going to be fun because as you can see there are rocky benches, there are cannonballs, there are bombs, there are tanks, there are lots of things going on right now. And every single auto scroller that we go through are, is going to have all of these things happening pretty much all at one time. So there's just a lot of things to avoid. Now I'm particularly afraid of two levels. One of which is uh, later on uh, and the other one is even further later on than that. I guess that really doesn't make any sense. I guess I will explain. This world has four separate parts. We're only in the first part, and as we keep going, you will notice that there are other parts to this world. And that is going to be very fun to go through. So hopefully we can get through these without too many issues. If not, of course, it is World 8. It is the final world in the game. So I expect us to have quite a few problems here. I mean, I did say that about all the other worlds in the game, but we didn't really have too many issues with those. So I expect this world hopefully to go just as well. And as I say that, we are already at the end of the stage. And wow, you have a hammer brother, or not a hammer brother, a boomerang brother guarding the, uh, the prize here, which is a star. Now stars in this world, again, aren't going to be that useful because they're auto-scrollers. Alrighty, moving on to the second auto scroller, which is a kind of a boat thing. And I do like the auto scrollers in this world because they are very unique. Like the first one is a big tank, the second one is kind of like a boat, like a giant uh, battleship thing. It's really cool. Uh, so anyways, I guess while well, we have nothing else to talk about, I guess I can talk about some personal things as we move through the stage. Uh, so, my wedding is in six days from today, as of this recording. So, it is coming up really quick, as to give you guys a point of reference. Today is Sunday, and my wedding will be this Saturday coming up. All of my family flies down here on Thursday, and, uh, yeah, it's coming up really freaking quick. And I'm, I think I'm prepared, but at the same time, you're always in that feeling where you're just not that prepared, even though you feel like you are very prepared for the occasion. It's kind of insane, actually. I'm very nervous about it, but I'm also very excited at the same time, because I do love my fiancé to bits and pieces. And it's going to be a great time, I have to say, and it's just a huge jumping stone in my life. And uh, I guess this whole LP is pretty much me talking about the wedding, isn't it? So at least it's documented in my personal uh, memory here. At least I have a videos on YouTube that shows when I got married and kind of the events leading up to it. So if anything, I guess that's what this LP really kind of is, is just me talking about random stuff, even though most of it was me talking about the game. But anyways, we are finished with the first section of this world. Not that long, just two levels. Now we move on to the second portion of it, which is going to be crazy because they have hands that appear out of the ground and try to take you away. But luckily for us, if you beat these levels, then we're going to get a nice prize out of the deal. They aren't terribly long. They're not really counted as levels because, well, they're pretty short. But they do give you leaves every time you do them. I will be going through all three of these stages. It is random when the hands will appear, but it doesn't really matter because I'm just going to do the stages anyway. Now this level, don't remember being that challenging, and I thought I was going to take damage there. That would have been okay. Okay, I did take damage there. But luckily for us, we made it through with a little bit of a scratch, but hey, at least we got ourselves our leaf out of the deal. Now I guess these levels would be useful to use a star on, so I think I'm going to do just that. And let's just go right into the final uh, section of this area, which has... Oh, no! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! And is this a power-up right here? It is. Cool stuff. And nice, I didn't even 
take damage from that. Awesome. Those cheap teeps could be an issue, but luckily for us, we made it through unscathed. Now, I guess, well, I'd even have to use a power up in the overworld to get that fire flower, so I guess I'm not really worried too much. Alright, now this level right here is one of the levels I have been pretty much worrying about since the beginning of the project. I'm going to go ahead and use a leaf here, because as you will see, this level is a really fast auto-scroller, and not only that, but there's not a lot of platform to stand on. Uh, so you're going to have to do some really clever jumping. Now if you didn't have the leaf, this would be really difficult, but luckily for us, we do have a leaf. So we can just slowly traverse through each ship in the sky. And like I said, this is, I think this is the fastest auto-scroller in the entire game. Which is uh, pretty scary. This is a notorious level for being a little difficult. So hopefully... Oh god. I thought he was going to bounce me away into oblivion. Which would be really bad. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I thought I was going to survive that. Crapperonis. Oh... This just makes this a little bit more scary, but we beat the level for it to really matter. <laughs> That's awesome. Sweet. Alright, let's just go ahead and defeat Boom Boom, which is not the final time we beat Boom Boom. I believe this is the second to last time we defeat him. But there we go, you guys. He has been slayed. Not bad at all. Alright, section two of this world is complete. We have t uh, pretty much half of the world to go. Now this is where we start the first of the actual stages. I'm going to go ahead and throw on a P-Wing here, because there is a secret I do want to show off. If we fly up here, and I guess we keep on flying away, I believe, yep, there is a pipe all the way up here. And if you go into it, you are going to get three lives out of the deal, which is awesome, because lives are indeed nice, even though I'm using a, a broken item to get up here, which I don't think you have to. I think you could just use a regular leaf. But I find this level to be very, very challenging. And you will see why right here. You have all these uh, uh, bullet bills and the jumps you have to make here are pretty darn tricky. But luckily for us, we do have a P-Wing. Now, I believe we're not going to get any more lives from these cards for the remainder of the game. Because the next level that we're going to enter here will be the last time we get a card in the game. I know, that is crazy. Also, a little bit of a secret here. You think you would die if you jump into the sand here, but that is not the case because there is stuff underneath and there is a pipe we can enter which contains a nice secret for us. Now, if we just climb our way up through this set of stairs, we can get ourselves a power up, but also we can exit through this pipe and we will come up to a brand new, well, not brand new. This is a pretty scary area for sure. Let me see if I can wreck a P-Speed and just kind of fly through it all. Uh, there is a sun that is normally in the stage, but we didn't see him, thankfully enough. And there we go, you guys. That is the last time we will get a card for the remainder of the game. I know. That is crazy. Now let's go ahead and see what this pipe will take us to. Hopefully somewhere decent. I mean, by that, I mean not really. Oh, it really didn't take us anywhere. All right. Here we have ourselves a fortress. Now I don't remember anything about this fortress, really. So hopefully, oh, you know what? I do remember this fortress now. This is a notorious fortress. Uh, if you just gotta make sure we don't take damage or else that would be kind of bad. We're gonna wanna enter this age door right here. Oh, if you're not prepared, that could be dangerous. So just be careful. Uh, these doors don't really have anything too particularly interesting inside them. You're also going to want to make sure you keep your leaf as much as possible while you go through here. Because you're going to need the leaf for one particular section, and it is right here. So if you go ahead and use it here, you can pretty much skip a lot of the level. And not only that, but you're going to want to be careful as you go through this particular section as well, if I can get through. Thank you. And just keep on moving. You should be safe to go. Now, more so... We're going to want to make sure we avoid this guy because I believe if you go through here, there's a P switch over here. Now, you could go through that door, but this door, I believe, is the uh, door to Boom Boom. Now, we just have to wait for the P switch to end. So, this thing could take us away. 
Now, this again is not the final time we, we, we will be facing Boom Boom, but it is the first time we face him on a conveyor belt. But still, he is not that difficult, regardless of the conveyor belt or not. There we go, guys. Another fortress has been beaten. So far, this world has been a lot easier than, than World 7 so far. Hopefully, that stays true as we continue forward. We do have a pipe here, so I guess I can see where this takes us. Hopefully, somewhere good. And, oh, this is the final section of World 8 in the game. So, we will be going there. But also, there, I believe, yep, there's a pipe over here, which... I don't think it's overly useful unless you're saving and quitting because this, uh, yep, is a shortcut. And if you go up here, it will take you back to the beginning. So just keep that in mind if you save and quit. That way you can kind of get back to where you were going. But again, once you save and quit, you have to start the entire world over again with all the levels in it. So again, keep that in mind. Now, here it is, guys, the final section of World 8. We have one more level before the final level in the entire game, which makes this world not as long as I remember it being, actually. I thought this world was much longer, but I guess within each section of it, there's not many levels in the world to explore and go through. So maybe this world isn't as long as I originally thought, and wow, I'm surprised I didn't take damage there. Uh, I thought I was going to, but oh, I did. I did take damage, like I thought I was going to. Okay, well, not too bad, not too... Oh, God, why'd you throw your wrench so high? Okay, I don't know if you even get a power-up in this stage at all. I don't think you're going to. And if you do, that would be kind of cool, but I'm not getting my hopes up. Also, I'm really scared about these cannonballs. There are so many cannonballs flying around everywhere, and bob bombs which I also have to be careful for, because you never know, you could... Oh, come on! Okay, now I have to be extra careful. And I don't have to be careful at all because here is the pipe. All right, boom, boom. This is our last fight in the game, sir. I will defeat you and beat you down. There we go, you guys. That's it. Say goodbye to boom, boom, because that is the last time we will see him in the game. All righty. Now let's just go ahead and get ourselves geared up because this is the final stage in the game. And what better way to end things off than with a good old Leaf Star combo. Now this level is long, so just be careful as you go through it. Uh, I expect to die here quite a few times because I usually do die here a few amount of times before I actually beat it. But we will see how, it, how we do here. Uh, this level is pretty darn scary, so just, uh, just be careful. Also, a nice little trick here, you can go in here and get yourself a 1-up, but most importantly, if you do this just right, and you go into that one little opening there, you can just clip your way through the wall, and it takes you to pretty much a little bit of a shortcut, so you don't have to traverse through much of anything, really. Just a nice little secret. Uh, now, I guess we could go through that door, but I think we can also go through here as well, and avoid you, jump through here and just continue on the path of glory and uh, yeah here's a door here now be careful I believe yep those lasers will indeed hurt you if you're not prepared or careful but none of the other ones actually hurt you I thought these ones did hurt you I guess not okay now okay yep I was afraid of those fireballs oh my goodness they appear at the worst time when you're about to jump to a platform and they just appear out of nowhere. But I think this is the final door in the game, which will take us to the final boss. Let's go ahead and get this going. Now, here we have King Bowser himself, King of the Single Koopa. Now, he's not that difficult if you know how to beat him. So what you're going to have to do is avoid his fireballs, and then he jumps, and then you're going to want to try to make him ground pound and make him get to a point where he will fall into his own platforms. Which I'm doing a very bad job of showcasing, by the way. But I want to make sure he jumps down here. Yep, just like that, and one more should do it. Now, if you stand up here, I believe he can't really touch you. Unless he jumps, in which case he can hurt you. But at this point, I don't think he can touch me. Oh, he almost did. Jump over here, Bowser! And there you go! That is it, guys. 
We have defeated. Oh, I almost died by that. Whew. Let's just get over here to this door so we don't get wrecked. Because you can still die in this cutscene. Kind of. Whew, but we did it. There's the door. And here is the end. Thank you, but our princess is in another castle. Just kidding. Ha ha ha, bye bye. Yep. That is how it ends, folks. Oh, that is so dumb. But it is okay, because we beat the game! I hope you guys enjoyed this little series I did before moving on to the actual main project I was planning to do before this. But this just was the best time to do this game because of all the things that were going on for the wedding and stuff. I had a lot of fun with this game. I think I had the most amount of lives I think I've ever had in this game. Not only that, I think I've only died twice in this entire game, which is the least amount of times I've ever died in Mario 3. So that's a new record for me, which is awesome to show. Maybe one day I can go through this entire game without dying, which I could do on my own time if I'm really good at it. But only dying two times is pretty darn good. And I expected to die on Wendy Koopa, but I was not expecting to die in the other area, I believe in World 7. So overall, a really good game. One of the best games I think ever made. I always come back to this game and this won't be the last time I do play it for sure. I will probably end up coming back to this game in about a few weeks from now whenever I get upset or depressed or something because that is the game I go to whenever I'm sad. But there we go guys, we have completed Mario 3, that is going to be the end of this video and the end of this one, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, so. I really have nothing else to say. This game is not that long. It was a really fun experience. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play through some of these stages. And yeah, it was a good time. So with that being said, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching this. This has been the Gaming Guru 5.1 as always. And I will see you guys for the next Let's Play. I'm really excited for it, let me tell you. See you guys then.